Hi, everybody. This is Duncan from Stadia Source, and here's Ash as well. Hello. And we're here to talk about this amazing breaking news that Stadia Base has finally launched. We have been speculating that it could be coming, or it should be coming, or it should have been here, but now we know it is here. So they have decided to uh, just launch this really stealthily today. So we'll just go through the wee article here to start off with, just to give, uh, basically see what it says. Uh, we're facing some of the most challenging times in recent uh, memory. Keeping social distance is vital, but staying home for long periods can be difficult and feel isolating. Video games can be a uh, valuable way to socialize with family and friends when you're stuck at home. So we're giving gamers in 14 countries free access to Stadia for two months. This is starting today and will be rolling out over the next 48 hours. There's that's a key that's a key line there over the next 48 hours. So they're going to be rolling it out. They're going to be measuring it. So we can get into a bit more of these details later. Uh, anybody who signs up will get two three months of. Uh, Stadia Pro with instant access to nine games, including Grid, Destiny 2, and Thumper. You can purchase even more games on the store, which will be mean to play even when you cancel Stadia Pro. If you're already a Stadia Pro subscriber, we will charge you for the next two months. That's another that's a good wee thing there. So if you're already paying for Stadia Pro, you don't get you don't get charged for the next two months. And then after it's nine ninety nine a month. Uh, just gives you the background of how to get it all set up. So uh, with increased uh, demand due to more people at home during this time, we're taking a sponsored approach to internet traffic for Stadia. We've adjusted bandwidth use based on the third if in home and local factors to reduce the load and uh, fire we are working toward a temporary feature that changes the default screen resolution from 4K to 1080p. I'm not saying I called that, but I called that. <laughs> 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 the vast majority of people on the desktop or laptop won't notice a significant drop in gameplay quality, but you can choose your data usage options in Stadia and app. Uh, like so many people around the world going through the crisis, our support team have been significantly impacted and our customer support functions aren't willing at full capacity trying to do this. Okay, let's get into this. What do you feel about this, Ash? Um, I do think it's awesome that they've actually finally released it. Um, it was theorized around the end of last month, start of this month. So it's a few days after predicted, but it is here, like said. Um, it's like last month, I, what was it? Um, my pro ended a few days before I got paid. So instantly, as soon as I, the um, payment didn't go through, the games were gone. Um, but this month, when it happened again, I noticed the games were still, my pro games were still there, but I actually thought it was just like a little glitch. Um, so it's awesome that we've got it. The current users are getting it extended for the two months as well. Um, so yeah, good times all around. Yeah, I'm just going to head out a wee comment here from uh, uh, Militant, Militant Monk, uh, Monkey. As far as I know, it's being ruled out uh, to 14 countries. And as you can hear with our accents, we're from the UK. So yes, you should be able to get this going forward. So I would get your name in the list as it's going to be trickling out over the next 48 hours. So sign up and away you go. So yeah, I think it's that um, with existing customers like myself who have not been able to pay for it until tomorrow, um, that they'll obviously get priority to get the days first, yep. that with the pro first, whereas new people, that's when you have to wait up to the uh, 48 hours. Yeah. Uh, just going back to this other comment. Uh, oh, it could be just because they're overwhelmed at the moment. Because this is just when this is this has just launched, and mm. it may not just be through the system yet. So you just need need to probably be, just take your time with it going forward and just uh, get there. Uh, see, we're given it uh, 14 countries, which is going to be the UK, because it is only 14 countries of Stadia is available in. So don't be worrying. You will be able to get in. And we can all be a happy family. We can be. Uh, there's just so much to take from this. Uh, yeah. They're appealing to both new people and uh, 
old people because we're getting work if you're already a pro subscriber you get two months free which i think is brilliant and you people are getting two months as well and they're coming in at a good time with the amount of games on the system oh no yeah for sure um well it's like with anything else that you go for if you're an existing com com uh, customer you rarely if ever get the same bonuses as new people yep. so for google to actually do that that's to be honest an amazing thing it, it is amazing. I, I can believe that, that they're actually going to give us uh, two months as well. Yeah. So, uh, is just uh, what what's your experience of Stadia been like? Just in case we've got any new people here. Who... Uh, no, yeah, that's fine. Um, for me, when I first got got it, I was in Canada on a uh, fifteen megabyte line. Um, on average, I was probably getting around seven meg, which is three meg under the minimum that you need. But it was still working for me, and 99% it was fine with no issue. Um, yeah. When I moved to where I am now, though, um, it works perfectly fine. But I, like I've mentioned to you before, I can literally get a one-second delay every three or four hours um, and then back to normal again. But obviously, with everyone being home at, home at the moment, the actual uh, broadband box outside obviously getting rammed full of connection and data at the moment it is starting to lag a little bit more for me. But for me, as far as I'm aware, that is purely because everyone's at home at the moment. Yeah, Other think, than that, it's been perfectly fine. Yeah, I think that's something everybody will need to take into account now. Uh, with Stadia now launching base, they are trying to minimize it by chucking it down to 1080p for everybody. Uh, but there, the amount of people going to be using this now is going to shoot a way up. And we're going to need to be patient, I feel, because I think we're going to get a bit more glitching and whatnot. Yeah. Um, well, it's like Dan has mentioned before. For those who don't know, Dan is the uh, creator of Stadia Source. He's mentioned in the past where he could be playing Stadia, but then his fiance could be streaming Netflix at the same time. And again, that did sometimes give him a little bit of a delay. But again, it wasn't anything major. Yeah, uh, for me, uh, uh, I have uh, me and my fiance are playing Stadia together. And as you can see, she's actually playing Stadia behind me here as she's playing some Assassin's Creed as I'm streaming this. Uh, for until this situation started, uh, uh, we had absolutely no issues with uh, Stadia. But yeah. we are seeing now glitches every so often. It's not like. Uh, game breaking or anything it's just uh it's just more noticeable so let's see uh cyber ferret here has got a wee comment here thanks for watching cyber ferret here uh does the two months apply to the uk the announcement seems to be targeted at the us audience it, it does look it will be coming to the uk as well uh in in this uh article it says we're giving gamers in 14 countries. UK is part of the launch lineup, so we will be getting that. Well, yeah, and it's like I mentioned earlier, that um, normally as soon as you run out of pro, um, say you don't get paid for an extra day or two, your subscription will be cancelled and games will be gone instantly. Um, but for me this time, like again, I don't get paid till tomorrow, and my games are still there for me because they've obviously already added this for existing customers. Yeah, this is going to be a really, really exciting time. I wouldn't be surprised if we get uh, maybe not more games today. I think we may get, a, yeah. get some game announcements tomorrow. And Hopefully. Touch wood, get pack comes, and we can get the cry play going on that, because I think that's going to be, be amazing. Oh, no, yeah, for sure. So just saying who we've got. Oh, we've got uh, Ralph in here. Uh for anybody who doesn't know, uh, Ralph puts a lot of Stadia content out there, so it's well worth uh, looking into his channel from, uh, if you're new to Stadia. Oh, and uh, the, the big news is the number one rule in the Stadia community is you do not subscribe to Stadia Arcadia. <laughs> he doesn't That's his know, rule. No one else is. Because he doesn't know what he's talking about. And he needs to... Uh, he needs to do the Just Dance stream he's uh, attempted to do here. Yes. So who, who all wants uh, Stadia Arcade to do his uh, Just Dance? Hands up. 
Yeah, so it's th this is going to be a very, very exciting day. I think you're right here. It's going to be really fun to see how this all explodes over the next couple of weeks, to see how many people join in and see all these uh, servers all fill up, because that is something that we have been lacking in some of these games, is that uh, the servers haven't been filled for the multiplayer games. So I'm yeah. hoping that... So you've been playing the you've been playing a lot of the crew too, haven't you? Or I have, bit? yeah. Um, the issue, the only issue that I've had with that game is the live battles that you can get for multiplayer. I could literally have been waiting like 25, 30 minutes and only getting one or two people in the uh, queue with me. Um, which any other game normally you would have got in within like two or three minutes. Um, it's just with the small amount of people that were playing that, or at least for the live battles at the time. I was waiting quite a while. But with Destiny, if you went on there, you had a ton of people on there. There's no issue. Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's, it's going to be fun. And I really want all this to really get these multiplayer servers packed up now. Mm. So we're seeing a lot of the good community members. Uh, another amazing person in the community is uh, Stadia Prairie One, who uh, he's early there. Uh, go check out his channel as well. This is going to be a really exciting time here for Stadia and I. I. I just can't wait to see how this is all going to play out in the next week or two. It's oh no, yeah, for sure. And uh, it's, it's, it's I can't put my my can't get my head around it here. <laughs> too, much too much excitement. Too much excitement. Yeah, I I was predicting that we may get some some sort of base rollout. I wasn't expecting. Yeah. To, to drop the whole bomb down here, to just uh, get drop full base. I was expecting like a wee roll out, but no, they're going full for it. <laughs> Balls to the wall sort of thing. Uh, See, the only downside with it for me at the moment is the fact that they've just updated the uh, stage wrap as well for your phone. Um, and I would have thought with the base coming out, they would at least add the uh, voice chat and text chat to the app which that isn't on yet, unfortunately, but usually news comes out on a Thursday, so we've still got time. Yeah, I think that might be... Uh, I wouldn't, I'm not expecting any updates like that because <laughs> they've just dropped this, so they're, they're going to be all hands and deck for this. So if anybody's new uh, to Stadia here, one of the best things is there is no downloads. You just... You buy a game or you choose your pro games and away you go. And that means you'll be able to try all these weird games uh, going forward. Like if you look at the pro games at the moment, my, let's see, I'll move this down to the pro games at the moment. But we've got Destiny 2 anyway. I'll yep. move it up. Where, I've seen all these games. Oh, here's it here. I'm just blind here. <laughs> uh, we've got Destiny 2. Uh, there's an interesting one there in, in Grid. Yeah, I'm still half and half on that at the moment. Uh, the re reason why I say that's the interesting one is uh, for people who uh, have uh, not played in Stadia, that has got Stadia-only features in it. Yeah. The 40-car race. I um, just need to get on to my phone here to just double-check the, the other app or the other games which are in pro and we can go through them here destiny 2 the collection destiny 2 is as it says how you how you find in destiny 2 on stadia uh, for me well for me I'll, it was the first time I've, I've ever played destiny in general um like i was never a big fan of it i didn't really see the point but again if you're on stadia i did give it a try just out of curiosity and i did actually really enjoy it um like I've never, the only like I've ever had was when I was at my first place. It could sometimes get a little bit there, but everywhere else it's been fine. Um, which again is down to your natural internet. It's not Stadia itself. Um, but yeah, for me, I love the game. I'll play it any day. And I'd encourage everyone to give it a try. Yeah, for me, Destiny 2, when you play it in Stadia, you can't go back to PlayStation or Xbox or anything like that. It's really, uh, <laughs> because of the 60 FPS, you can't go back to the other consoles. Uh, 
it's a real game changer. And when you actually go from Destiny to and just go straight in between the two, it is just mad how the what the difference is. So it, it, it this is just I can't believe they just decided to drop this like now, just completely and utterly randomly. Early used to feel all. Yeah, it's. We'll move on. We'll just have a go through all these wee games which are here. Uh, the next one's great. We, did, we talked about that uh, briefly there. Uh, 40 car race. I Great for me. It's a load of fun when you're doing the 40 car races. But the actual day to day game, I don't, I'm not actually that big of a fan of. What do you think? Or, yeah, you know? I'm the same. I've given it a try. And for me, I'm more of the. Uh... I like the open worlds racing games like Forza or um, the Crew 2 a lot better than the track games. Um, yeah. But again, the ability to have up to 40 cars, which not even console can do at the moment, I find that amazing. Yeah. The next game is Guilt. And I know a number of our people in our community have been out there doing that uh, and have done a lot of playthroughs on Guilt. Uh, this year, unfortunately, I'm going to have to mention that I might have to swear here and say Stadia Arcadia has uh, <laughs> has done a playthrough of that. So it's well worth checking that out. And again, I think it's a game you, you'll, you might be pleasantly surprised with. Have you played much of Guild? I've played about five, ten minutes of it, but that was just to see what it was while I was in between games. Um, but as soon as I've got through the crew, which I feel like I'm not far off. Um, then it's definitely one that I'm going to go back to and do a full playthrough. Um, uh, Studio Arcadia is trying to troll me here as we're on here. How <laughs> so dare he? He says uh, we have to go for a 48 hour live stream here just to <laughs> make sure everybody uh, gets signed up okay. I've only got 22% battery left. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So I, I would have to be here holding the fort. Uh, the next game is uh, Serious, the Serious Sam collection. I actually did a playthrough with Kelly behind it in co-op mode. Yes. Uh, yes, it looks a wee bit dated and whatnot, but I actually was enjoying it. It's just old school shooter fun. Yeah, it's yes. like for me, it's a game that's not on stadium, but um, Red Faction Gorilla. Well, even now it is, graphics wise, it is definitely outdated. For me, that is still a hilarious game, no matter what the graphics are, because of what you can do in it. Yeah, it's 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 just a really fun game to play there. And Ashes to Ashes, absolutely spot on. You do not subscribe to Stadia, <laughs> Arcadia. So uh, the next game is... Uh, this is a game which, I'm going to be completely honest, I, did, I thought it looked absolutely... Rubbish when I've seen it. And I'm, 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 you know what I'm like. I just I come out and just say it as it is. But actually playing the game is actually a lot more fun than you would think. And that is Spitlings. And the guys at Sounds and Stadia do have got an amazing series. Yes, I may have been on it, but that's not why it's amazing. Uh, but they have been uh, doing some amazing things with uh, Spitling, so I would check out Sounds of Stadia, uh, go to their YouTube channel and, and see that. Uh, Troll Foam was created for that. What what, what, what do you uh, feel of Spitlings? Uh, I actually enjoy it. Um, again, I've probably play, played about 20 minutes of it. Um, but again, I like those kind of games. Um, so it's definitely one that I'm going to keep playing, unlike yeah, a certain yeah. blocky game. That is what we're actually coming to next. <laughs> stacks on stacks on stacks. Uh, okay, I'll let you talk about it and I'll try and put a positive spin on to it afterwards. So, yeah, for me, it's there's only two ways that I would personally play this game. And that's one if I'm with friends and we're a little bit intoxicated um, just to see what random stuff you can build. Or it, if you're more... If you're younger and it's more of a, it is more of a kid friendly game than adult. Um, which to me, if you're of that age, then they're gonna love it. But for me myself, not really. No. Okay. Uh, our inspirational leader is in the room, and Dan is here. I don't see him. Uh, 
<laughs> you know what it's like. He turns up when you don't right. want them to turn up. Yeah, I've not checked onto the bed yet. So, uh, uh, we were talking. Oh, sorry, I just seen uh, something on Twitter here. Uh, we have got it a hundred percent confirmed. They are tweeting it. If you have got a active Stadia Pro subscription, you will get two months for free. So Woo. it's, it's a, definitely a hundred. It says it in the blog, but they are definitely tweeting it out there. So that is really good news. Um, my thoughts on stacks, on stacks, on stacks, on stacks, on stacks, and how many stacks there is is that for me it's. Rubbish. I, I, I love puzzle games. <laughs> and uh, I just did not like it. However, I have seen a lot of positive uh, spin on it uh, with people who are playing it with younger children, and they seem to really like it. So yeah. that is, that's a good uh, child-friendly game for people going forward. Uh, let's see what the next game is. Now we're in the Steam World Dig Two. Yes, I love that game. How how did you you talk about Steam World Dig then? Um, it's like I've not played the first one yet. Um, only two oh. quest and heist. Oh, we've got a friend. Hello, Disco Dan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Dig Two. Everything life. We missed the party, as we can see. You're still there. You've been going on. So, Dad, do you want to, do you want to introduce, uh, introduce, you, uh, introduce yourself, even? My name's Dan. I'm the party boy. <laughs> um, yeah, I have no clue what's going on. I've just seen you all live streaming. So, what, what, what has happened? Fill me in. Base, the base may have dropped. The base has dropped. Yes. I not like the, the music. For the background. Yep. And the shades. Yeah, where's your music? You have to get the music going there. <laughs> what music would that be? Just some... So, what's your feeling? Oh. And so I cried from the top when I'm lying in bed to give it all up. No, I'm being serious now. <laughs> 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 Although I don't actually know how to get rid of the funky background, so uh, yeah, it's going to stay. Enjoy. Forever. So base has dropped. Then finally, base yep. has dropped. So um, yeah, I'm late because I've been gardening. I've not even looked at the article yet. Um, but is it kind of what we expected? Just sign up and play. It looks that way, but it looks like people in the UK are having some issues actually signing up at the moment so we have to have a wee look at that uh basically it is it's not actually what as we thought it's everybody it's a big free-for-all it's open now anybody can do it and there is if you're a studio pro user already you get two months for free wow. and i can confirm that part's already active apparently i forgot to share the audio can people hear me talking i can at the very least Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> um, so I'm just reading the article myself. So yeah, so you while you're reading that, we're actually took going through this, the the games which are available in Pro and our thoughts on them. Uh, for Steam World Dig Two, I really enjoyed that. Uh, if you're going to play that, I would recommend getting Steam World Dig first and play through that first. So, and it's really good. The boss level, or the sorry, the end boss is a bit weird. You weren't you would be expecting that as the game progresses, and. Now, uh, it's, I've just completely lost my train of thought, but uh, <laughs> uh, Steam World Dig is actually, Steam World Dig 3 is actually pretty good and it's well worth playing. So that's a good game to actually on uh, Pro there. Oh, yeah. For me, even if it wasn't free, I most likely would have still bought it anyway, as it is. Yeah. So I just need to nip out for one wee second here.
And there he goes. Bye, bye Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, but yeah, this could it's, have, it's, it's come like, at a weird time. I'm out gardening, all of a sudden bass drops. Well, yeah, it's like we said, um, it was predicted between the end of last month and start of this month. Which again is a little bit over the start, um, but it is still within the time period. So predictions, right? Yeah, it's it's just really just random how they've just dropped it here. Uh, I think we we are going to get some more games coming here, and I think get packed is either coming out maybe tomorrow or, or Tuesday. No. Well, it's like I was talking to Dan the other day that um, over the last two weeks they've announced quite a few games like Monopoly and um, and all that kind of stuff and the Turing test, but we still don't have an actual date for it. So could that be a potential something that comes soon now the base has essentially dropped? Um, and yep, I think as it's now, we're now in open season now, so we... <laughs> Free for all. Free for all, basically. Uh, we may get a big... I think we thought they have been sitting in games. And now uh, they can show that they, they have been and start just dropping the games left, right, and center. I'm, I'm actually checking here to see if there's anything else uh, dropped here. Just in case they dropped any sneaky games in the middle of that and then haven't told it. Surprise! Yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Let's see. No, I can't see anything as yet. But yeah, it's it's all it's all a good crack. Uh, and the, the 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 key there's a couple of key statements in this uh, article, and it's uh, it is going to be over the next forty eight hours. So we may it may just take a wee while to actually get signed up. I can imagine right now that the uh, site's a little bit overloaded as well with all the people uh, trying to get sign up. Yeah, here's the thing: they have just said anybody can sign up to this, and look at the games that they're getting for free for right? just signing up, and it's just absolutely nuts. They're getting the full version of Destiny 2 with all the DLC and the season pass. You're getting grid. That is going to tempt people no matter what. Then you've got the, the sort of niche, sort of more niche games in Steam World and the Steam World game and Serious Sam, which is going to get interest people. So there is a good range of games there, which is going to go, yeah, I'm going to sign up for this, even if it's rubbish in their head and it doesn't work. Well, at least now with it base finally coming out, all those people that were there saying, oh, Stadia is bad, but we've not tested it. They can actually test it now and see it's not actually as bad as they believe. Yeah, I think everybody was uh, in this sort of thing, what, what Charles is saying, uh, that we didn't think it was a good time. I think I think everybody has been saying it's the perfect time and the worst time for Stadia to launch. It's a... But with what with what they're doing here, I'm just gonna get up that line again. Uh oh, let's zoom the way in. Uh to reduce the load in the internet ferry, we're working towards a temporary feature that will change the default screen resolution from 4K to 1080p. So that's the way around it. And like I said, I'm not blowing my own trumpet, but I did say that on Twitter a number of times. I think that should happen. But clearly not on payroll. Yep, clearly not a payroll. <laughs> so it is really exciting. And that is the way around maybe some of the, the dips and the drops are going to try try and get it around that way. Well, me and you were talking the other day, weren't we, Ash, about like whether they're going to uh, release any more games. And I said yeah. I, I could have predicted games were going to be announced either yesterday or Thursday. Instead, they announced the pro deals yesterday. So I wasn't expecting the next batch of news to be until at least tomorrow. And then 
they go and drop this bombshell. So <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like I've said as well. For me, all, all I was expecting was to at least find out the uh, potential release dates of some of the games they've already mentioned in the past, um, but not based. So even better. Well, I think with the with the nine games, um, like Duncan's been saying, there's there's something for everyone to at least just try the system. Uh, and see for themselves whether they could get any use out of it, whether they're going to get lag or, you know what I mean, whether their use case fits Stadia. I'm just bringing this comment up because uh, uh, there's some back and forward on our chat there. Yeah, you don't have to pay again. You can just drop your pro subscription. People are, who have signed up uh, when Stadia first launched aren't paying. So you can, can actually just drop your Stadia Pro down and not in Stadia base because there's a lot of people in the community already who are in this limbo sort of situation where they're not on Stadia Pro, but Stadia Base hasn't actually launched. But this is Stadia Base launching. You buy games, you can play for them. It is a free-for-all now, so you can just go out and enjoy Stadia. Um, just a quick one, because we haven't actually mentioned it, but for anyone new who's watching who's never tried Stadia before, um, when you do get the Pro, I would suggest claim all the free games that you can, um, because every so often they do take games off. But as long as you've claimed it, then you can keep it forever. Yep, exactly. And that's the, one of the brilliant perks of Stadia, is you just claim all your games, you can switch it on like I did with Stacks on Stacks, gave it five minutes, you don't have to download it, you just have to play on it. Don't like it, you can just forget about it. And... <laughs> It doesn't take you an hour to download for five minutes play. If you don't like it, that's an over and done with. Well, it's like I was talking to a friend earlier who said that um, he went on his Xbox for the first time in a while and had to wait ages to update again. Um, and with Stadia, it gets updated instantly and we can play straight away. Whereas with consoles, you could be waiting potentially up to two or three hours for the update to come in, then for it to actually update. And yeah. So it's definitely worth a try. It definitely is. Uh, we've got some questions here. Do we, uh, if I can find it here. Do you think there's going to be, uh, do you think they're going to up the pro deals now? My feeling is yes, but not until next week. What do you guys think? I think the same, because it was literally yesterday they announced a batch of uh, pro deals. So I think they'll just leave it how it is for a week or two and then bring it the next lot. The thing is with those pro deals that they announced yesterday, though, is that half of them are absolutely rubbish because mm. the the Red Dead Redemption 2 one the, and the special edition, they're like pounds or dollars, depending on where you're from, less than the ultimate edition. So you might as well just go for the ultimate edition. So it kind of makes them too redundant almost, unless you're really, really trying to save some pennies. Yep, it is. Uh... Oh, uh, again, um, just while we're just talking about the uh, deals and such like, uh, as our good friend Stadia Arcadia knows, uh, the Just Dance have got a lot of free content on now. So if you've got Just Dance, you can get the ultimate. What is it? Ultimate edition. What's the What's the exact term of it? Uh, some strange version of it. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, where you get all the extra songs for free for a month, so you can actually get into that as well. Not bad, not bad. Not that I get it because I don't dance, but it is a good deal. Tommy, oh. Stadio Arcadia's uh, video review of that will be coming soon. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> he has uh, no choice. <laughs> And also, a lot of the developers now are pushing out a lot of updates now. Uh, we've had Football Manager, we have had Just Dance Star trying to get people to get started playing and playing. I think everybody is going to be, uh, I think they're going to see a lot of pushing towards Stadia now since it is now up and running. Here's something to check. Uh, YouTube videos, I wonder if they're going to start adding that feature in. That is I true. Think so. I think. Uh, well, they're going to obviously mention it when they do, but I don't think we'll see it immediately. Yeah. I think they'll wait for the dust to settle on this first before they do it. Just to kind uh, of spread it out a bit more. 
there, like I said, there's so many good people in here who do put out a lot of good content. We have uh, Ashes to Ashes, I think we mentioned that. We've got Studio Weekly One, even though me and him don't uh, see eye to eye on everything. Uh, we will <laughs> go watch his content. Uh, Charles in here as per normal. So, where do you where do you think uh, Stadia is going now in the next month? We don't even have to say in the next two months. The next month, where is Stadia going? Well, before we get into that, I just want to also say as well. Yes, we've got a lot of the uh, the regular Stadia streamers and content creators here in the uh, chat with us at the moment, but um, there are some that aren't with us at the moment you can head to stadiosource.com and there's a content creator section where you can go and see all of the like stadio content creators for yourself um for those obviously that are new to you know what i mean our site and our podcast so there's something for everyone really absolutely and that and there's so many people in the chat as well here interacting. We we appreciate everybody who is coming to watch us as well. Definitely. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to catch up on this. Same, same <laughs> yeah, I've got 81 on red notifications. Yeah, it is just mad. This is all uh, kicking off here. I know, I was just out in the garden. It was like my, my pocket's vibrating every 10 <laughs> seconds. I'm like, something <laughs> must be happening. Do you know what I mean? What is this? There's a good question from Ashes to Ashes, or not a question, comment. I'm curious now that they launched this, what game surprises they have in store. I feel that they have some up their sleeve and we're waiting for this launch. Yeah, I I, I think we've got Get Pack coming. I think that is now possibly tomorrow, or they may just push it to next week just to get the server loads down and then they can see how all this... Uh, calms down. What, what do you guys think? Do you think of any surprises up in up their sleeve? Well, for that game myself, I do think that we are extremely close to its um, release. I was going to say rollout then, but release. Um, but it's like I've spoken to you like in the past that um, I've been in contact with Superhot guys, which we do know that that is coming on to Stadia. And no matter what I've asked, whether it's, is there a rough um, release date or do you have a guideline on the price or anything? The response I'd always get back is, we don't have any keys at the moment with a little wink. Um, so personally, I do think that was more than just a sidelining thing. I do think that was more of trying to give a hint that we're not far off from that as well. Um. I personally think that they're going to, like I said a minute ago, they're going to let the dust settle on this bit first, um, give people a chance to try it, and and then maybe start releasing some of the smaller content, like the YouTube, like like you said earlier. Yeah, the crowd play, and uh, the product of crowd play, I think is now a given now for Get Packed. I think that's going to work now. Uh, that's why they might push it out to next week, rather after they get the rule light over and done with. Uh, another question here from, uh, or another comment from Abby, uh, State of Power One. Uh, I'm more, I'm more curious of the game they're going to give away next month. I say a huge triple A, so people will be able to play it for free. I absolutely agree, and uh, I've been saying for a while. I think that's what the, the way they're going to tempt people in. I think uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is the is the game there. To get people to stay, it might not be next month. It could be the month after. It all depends how the two months works out. So it might be May's game. They might push it, or sorry, June would be June's game. April, yeah, or we're, we're in April. We're May, June. I think it could be June's game, which could be the big one to to keep to keep people uh, paying for the pro subscription. What do you guys think? Before we get into that, I just want to introduce someone to the stream. Oh, we have a friend. Oh, no, not him. I can't. Oh, 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 oh him, yeah. I couldn't <laughs> see until the text disappeared, but yeah, no, I'm going to put my thumb over that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a smudge there. <laughs> uh, much love to everyone there, too, as well. 
<laughs> oh, I just want to jump in quickly. Uh, kids are literally just going to sleep right now, so I thought I'd jump it. It wasn't that good, Ash. You don't need to throw your camera. <laughs> it's my phone. That makes it even worse. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just really crazy news, though, isn't it? I mean, Twitter has just gone mental. I've had to stop like liking posts and stuff now because. I don't know how many clicks I've got left in my mouse. <laughs> it's only like a hundred million click uh, guarantee. Don't want to waste. It's fine. It. You don't need it. You've got Stadia now. Just use your controller. No. Uh, we, we, may, <laughs> we may be having a special guest in a second here. Okay. Well, I'm already here. He said special. Exactly. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you're on day release. <laughs> Someone has to be. Um, yeah, just a quick one, though. I did see in the comments, I think the, it was Phoenix. Um, or, I mean, my phone wants to work. Um, yeah, Phoenix, who said he's gone now, unfortunately, or she, um, but said that they think if it was base that was coming out, it would be free rather than us getting the uh, free pro for two months. Which we've already seen ourselves that when you buy Stadia, you get the body pass to give out. So again, it's, I think it's just more of a free trial just to encourage people to give it a go and then obviously stay after. Whether it's the base or the keep paying for the pro, then... Yeah, it's a common sort of tactic. You get that with Netflix as well. You get the free month, so they're doing the free two months here. So it's, it's, not, it's a good thing here. It's... It, it's just a hook to get people in and get them started. And that's what I was saying about the Assassin's Creed as well. I think that they are going to drop something there, uh, something like an Assassin's Creed, a Borderlands fee or something else. The bad news is our special guest is here, and uh, I can see him here. I'm just going mm -hmm. to add here. And it is a Stadia talk. And hey. Cheers. Ah, hello. The Godfather is in the house. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just wanted to stop by. This is too big of a day, and I won't stay very long because uh, it's this is your guys' show. But this is a big, big, uh, big, big moment. Um, and Google has um, answered the call. The call has been out there for a week, and they decided they were going to put their best foot forward. Um, and the Microsoft news, even though I think we knew that was coming, um, and I, I kind of said that in a an update. Um, I did a Twitter post uh, the other day, basically saying we knew that was going to happen. They were going to expand out to other regions, but I think Google has already been kind of thinking about this. They wanted to see who would take the first jump into the, you know, into the pool, the first toe in the water. Um, they've officially grabbed the narrative. Now the, the, the yeah. everything is in their favor right now. Um, and what they do with it is their choice. Now they have all of the room to walk the walk, to walk the, to, to talk the talk. Um, I think everything we heard from Microsoft yesterday completely becomes overshadowed. Um, and I'm not saying that it'd be disingenuous. It's just, that's the reality of what, what this news is today. And I think the big thing real quick too, and you guys may have already touched on this, but the fact that pro subscribers that are already existing subscribers are not going to be charged for two months is a big deal. Um, that's massive. That's a good shout by Stadia. It's a very goodwill item to the community, recognizing people being impacted. Um, but the re I think the reason for that is because they're chucking it down to 1080p for the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just going to add another uh, legend in the Stadia community here, and it is your good friend, Chase uh, Eddie. Stadia hey, episode hosted by Stadia Source. <laughs> <laughs> so, Welcome, yeah. buddy. How are you uh, doing? Hey guys, thanks for having me. Uh, actually, uh, just like Chase, I cannot stay very long. I have a meeting in 25 minutes, but um, I just wanted to say hi. And as Chase said, this news is huge. It's finally here. <laughs> you had to do the face drop. <laughs> uh, just a quick one, though. My phone is on 2%, so I am going to have to go and charge my phone, but I will still be watching the stream. So I'll talk okay. to you all soon. Bye bye. See you later, Ash. Enjoy. Yeah, it's it really is a big day. Like I, I think this was something that 
that I think Google held off on until they absolutely felt that they had the room to do it, um, considering the circumstances. And what's going to be very interesting is one thing we don't know, um, and I, I think maybe this is a thought provoking thing to put out there, maybe to talk about all of us is, does this mean they ramped up the server blades in time? Does this mean they got enough blades out there that we're not going to be running into issues of when you try to boot up your, your Stadia instance that you're being told through the APKs, like we saw, um, your region is, um, you know, full right now, or you can't play because there's too many users on, on the, the, the servers. Uh, those are things that are going to be remain to be seen right now, but, um, God, this is massive news. I mean, this kind of, I'm, I'm really, to be honest, I did not think we were going to get it this soon. I figured it would be another couple weeks for them to kind of vet everything and kind of look at what the landscape is. But you know what? Sometimes you got to strike when the iron is hot. And I have to say, massive props to them. This was the best thing that they potentially could have done because it shocked everybody. It shocked all of us. So what was gaming news yesterday? Everyone. Not a lot, really. No, uh, game in general. Was gaming news yesterday? Was that? No, yeah. Was, yeah. Xbox and PlayStation, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I put a wee, I think me and Chase both put out a wee video on Twitter yesterday talking about this, that this could uh, open the door. We didn't think, I didn't, I think we both were in agreement. We didn't think it was going to open this wide, but we did think uh, base was coming now because of the X, X Cloud uh, news that yesterday. Well, this is the first time, right, that we've actually seen Google put a power move out at the right time. It, this has always happened the other way around. Stadia exactly. have announced something, and then somebody's crashed on them straight away. So in, this week, we've had Amazon with the Project Tempo, the the games that they're working on, Crucible and the MMO, uh, that sort of stuff. Then we see the new control for PlayStation. I mean, we've seen the Xbox one. Yeah, <laughs> we've seen the Xbox one a couple of weeks back, so that wasn't anything new. I haven't actually watched all the the um, videos back yet, but obviously woke up this morning and Twitter was dominated by that new PS5 control. Exactly. And now, now Stadia is literally all I can see in Twitter. From every sort of gaming news feed there is, it's just Stadia, Stadia, Stadia. So uh, I am not a big Xbox follower, but I, I know that it had an event happening the last days, right? On an Xbox. Okay, I see everyone shaking hands. So yeah, I they've had like three weekends and stuff, haven't they? So. Yeah. So when then it everything was crushed by the controller, the dual sense controller from the PS5. And now it looks like uh, it's time to shine for Stadia. Everything will be put it on the side because of Stadia. And I would say even more, looks like for me, the strategy they had for launching the base, which will be you subscribe to base and then you get the controller or you, you buy the games you want to play. Now you subscribe to Stadia and you get two free months out of Stadia Pro, which is absolutely even more aggressive than just, okay, giving access to a platform. So now I'm giving you access and I'm giving you games for free absolutely yeah. on top of that i don't know whether or not this was covered already but the obviously the two months that they're adding to everybody that signs up and every current pro subscriber gets an additional two months uh mine is already live on there i'm just checking my subscription right now it now shows that my next payment's not due until june Yeah, I, I think I think something that Tommy said a moment ago is the key to this, guys. Um, and I, I really want to make sure that Tommy's point is amplified and, and echoed because he's spot on with something. Right now, the 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 mo of Google has always been, um, we'll respond to whatever someone has said. It's never been we put our stamp down and basically make the rest of the gaming landscape follow. This announcement today is absolutely that they have put a map like you can't you can't sugarcoat this. You can't. There's no way that the media. I mean, I know they're gonna we're gonna see some try to do it. They're gonna do some of the questions that they always do that are easily answered if you do your research. But at the end of the day, the, the answer to all of this from the Google side of it is they knew that if they if they put this out the way that they did today, how does Microsoft respond? They can't. They've already put their foot forward and said, we're doing a measured approach. Google is saying, well, yeah, we see you did a measured approach, 
but we're confident enough. And again, this is what I'm, I've been saying about the, the server blades earlier. We're confident enough that we have enough infrastructure right now to support the influx of players. That's a, I'm just going to say it. That's a ballsy move. You got to know for sure that you can go ahead and back that statement up. That's why I'm saying it, like Google has to have analytics here to know that they're going to be able to hit those numbers without a problem. Otherwise you don't make this move. You don't do this move right now. Otherwise you're going to run into um, uh, what's the term you're going to run into backlash. Yeah. Uh, they, they must see that they're, there should be another round and the big drop from 4k down to 1080p. I think that's, that, that's going to help as well. I'm not sure if you're saying that or not, that they're, you're, you're, they're putting it from 4K to 1080p, and I think that's the goodwill gesture for the pro users as well. You're getting it for two months, but you may have to deal with the reduced uh, service as well. So I think there's lots of good things here. So we've got another addition to the party as well. Hello. Hey, good afternoon. Look at this. There's a room full of my favorite people. <laughs> <laughs> I better eat them. No, stop that. Oh, bless. You're absolutely in that mix, mate. How are you guys? What an exciting time. I know. Absolutely I thought we'd make amazing. a party out of it. Yeah, yeah. Great idea. I was, um, I don't know if you spotted it, but I've been spending the whole day recording Stadia Rocks, um, trying to get it out for today. And the, the whole premise of this show was all about the future of Stadia. So it's when base launches, and this will be base, and blah, blah, blah. all of a sudden, <laughs> back to the drawing board. <laughs> Everything thrown to the ground. Everything goes back. Um, uh, I have a question for you, Duncan. Sorry, I was yeah. trying to open a game here to check, but um, are we already limited on the 4K? I, I, I need to reread the statement here. I think there you may be able to do you may be able to up it here. I had seen that comment from uh, that. Sorry, I'm just looking this up. Multitasking here. No, they they say they're working towards working towards a temporary feature. So my yeah. guess is that it isn't it isn't live as of this moment, but it'll be coming shortly. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and it's only default, so you will be able to change it. Well, that's a good shout. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Chase, I've got a new one for you, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Apple. <laughs> Tennessee honey and Tennessee apple, man. It always it always sneaks up on you. That's nice. Yeah, I, I'm I'm sorry I dominated that a moment ago about what I said as far as what Tommy brought up, but I, I think it's I think I couldn't not like hammer that home of how important what he just said is because it's a massive change in the mindset from Google. Like it, it I. I'm heartened, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm. This is the right stuff. These are the right mm. things that they're doing right now. And from a marketing standpoint, it's the best possible scenario because you have allowed the competition to basically overplay their hand. They have. You know, Microsoft has overplayed their hand, and Amazon, even though they're not telling us everything, they have partially overplayed their hand. Google walked in here today and said, "You know what? We now know what we're working with. We're now confident. Again, I, I would assume they're confident in their server blades. Otherwise, you don't make this move." that you've ramped up enough. They have now played the cards at the table at the poker table and said, you know, guess what? You thought we didn't have a straight. Well, we have a straight now and it's an inside straight nonetheless. Um, and it, you know, Microsoft is going to be, you're going to see some reactionary moves from this folks. Just watch the next couple of days and the next week are going to be very interesting to watch from these other companies. So well, check this out. I'm checking Twitter. It's trending in Canada on number two with 4,000 tweets stadia. So Xbox Cloud uh, have have basically said that they're pausing the trial. So you know they've come out in the last twenty four hours to say because of where we are, we're going to have to extend that period. So I think the timing is absolutely spot on. I think the, the thing I love the most about this is I think you and I have spoken about this, Chase. Just when you think you've got Google pegged and you can predict their next move, they do something completely left field. Because nobody saw the two months aspect to this and the free um, free two months pro sub for those that already signed up. I think it's um, – and, and they've done it in such a way 
which I love, which is you could look at it and say, that's a little bit cynical, but on the other hand, it's absolutely a, a, a positive gesture. So, you know, they've handled that moment just right. We all thought that the chance of it happening now had been reduced because of everybody else wanting to slow it down. And they've come out and they've tackled that and they've dealt with it. Okay, we've now, we've, we've downgraded the, the connection, but we're also giving this out as a gift to the world. And, of course, by downgrading it by default to 1080p, it also essentially removes that that other brick about that we were always going on about that you know that you, you shouldn't be going on about the 4k piece that isn't the major the major marketing um strategy here so they're taking it away so it's now less of a a, a stick to beat them with you know because well you don't have to use it and actually the default is 1080p and it's great isn't it it's a great show Your director has a great yeah. comment here uh chase you are on mute by the way uh he's saying <laughs> great shout that's what i meant to say i heard you <laughs> i pulled it heavy <laughs> yeah. um this is a startup mentality like uh startups move quickly as mm -hmm. needed mm -hmm. and um we've seen google doing this kind of moves before but uh it's the gaming industry never seen something like that even when playstation now has released a few new titles of uh on ps now but uh yeah chase go ahead <laughs> Finish. no I was, I was bowing to you because you're right this this is this is mark the calendars folks say it right now and you can you can run with this to the bank i mm. promise you april 8th 2020 was the day that the gaming landscape changed it wasn't the day that stadia came out but we got we got to remember that this is the day everything changes because now the free console that we've been talking about exists it's officially out there and now everyone's got to react to this. Mm -hmm. What's Microsoft going to do now? What's mm -hmm. Amazon going to do about this? They've all got to react. And, I, and I'm telling you, I think the inevitable was there. They, that's why they've been making these moves, these other companies. They've been trying to stem what they knew would be the inevitable. Now it's smack dab in their face. Mm -hmm. And now everything is in Google's hands. They control their destiny from here on out. This is the moment for them. Let's see what they do with it. Because now they have they have the attention of the entire gaming landscape with this move today. Control the destiny, destiny two, destiny pro <laughs> game. Not only that, but every time we see a, trailer, a new game that <laughs> doesn't have the stadia logo on it, the, the, the amount of people crying and for you know what I mean the stadia logo to be there is gonna expand. So they've got them to answer to as well as us mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think that's a good shout by Rigor there that will make it a pro only free to play game. I think that that, that, that could happen. But uh, a good tweet, a good tweet there by Tommy. I'm going, oh, fuck it. That. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm not sure if you can see this on my phone if I bring it up. Uh, there we go. Stadia Pro. Stadia Pro 1915. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it has now been added to your account already. So you can have a look and you'll see that it's already there. So that's good news. Very proactive. You have to go well done. <laughs> they've killed it. I mean, I'm serious, folks. They have, they've literally every box you could check from a marketing perspective. Mm -hmm. They checked it today. They mm -hmm. said, let's take care of the new people coming in. Check. We got them. Let's take care of the existing user base so they don't get upset feeling like they were left out. Check, we got them. Yeah. We're giving them two months of pro because of what's going on in the mar in the in the the landscape of the world right now. Every right move you could make, they've made today. There's yeah. there's really no way to negatively spin this. That's why if the if anyone comes out from the media and tries to spin this negatively, they are reaching. I mean, you know what, really reaching. You know what's next move from Google? Especially tomorrow, we know that usually it comes up with some news. Pro deals. We're gonna yeah. see a lot of pro deals and people putting money to buy those games again. I 100% agree, agree on that. We touched on this before you guys came in because the pro deals that we've got at the moment, to me, the Red Dead Redemption one seemed like most of it seems redundant because yeah, you know what I mean you can you can buy the ultimate edition for pounds or dollars yeah. more than the standard base edition. So why would you bother? Yeah. It was a stand-in, wasn't it? It was a holdover for tomorrow. You're absolutely right, Eddie. And they need to do that because 
once these guys come in, and who knows, it's going to be 20, 80, 20% 20 possibly going to extend into the pro, 80% won't. But they need something to play when it cancels. So they'll need to throw games in at the pro deal price that are just a no-brainer so that when they cancel, they've still got stuff to play. Because keeping them playing means that ultimately they'll buy more games. That's got to be the way forward. Not only when they cancel, because let's say they are not happy with any of those eight, nine games available right now. Uh, there's two triple A's being Destiny and Grid. And if they put it some other triple A's on the on the catalog for for the pro deal, uh, the guys are going to go get it. Like, I know so many people who got, um, uh, what's the name again? We're playing like crazy. The Division 2. There are a lot of people who got that game. And uh, if they come on pro again, and there are always people talking about how much that game it is good compared to other platforms running that game. So uh, it has the huge potential in Google and Ubisoft always had that partnership. So, Oh, man. Am I the only one that it feels like Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're, you're, you're not, man. You're not. Uh, what I, if you're if you're fans right to the social media sphere, I'm going to tell you now the developers are loving this. Uh, mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of uh, the ones who've got the games, they're pushing like crazy now. And the biggest one that I think for the UK based people is Football Manager. They are going go play this now. You have no excuses. And it's both their main account and Miles Jacobson, who's their big guy, is saying this is the way you have to play now. Go for it. So, do you think Get Packed will launch this week? Uh, it's we, em it, it's eminent now like at yeah. this point this i think this <laughs> i mean again like when you start looking at the chess pieces on the board mm. i almost feel like i want to smack myself in the head because the signs have been there right i think <laughs> we, they, we I think say they, this clues think, are always there i think they've been there for a week or two and we just have been like it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense and what have you said rock i mean to your credit google is going to do what google does here they have their own plan and they've shut us up every single time case in point when shannon stud still was announced i immediately said okay i'm backing off because at this point while i don't understand it you have a clear mindset of what you're doing and when you drop a name like that into the industry yeah, yeah. that's a everybody needs to shut their mouths moment basically um, so this is, I mean, I'm not, I'm shocked that it happened today. I'm not surprised though. Mm -hmm. If that makes any sense, my, my, my enthusiasm is of shock of like, Jesus, it happened this quick. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. it's crazy, man. Which, which also paves the way for you play plus to come sooner than we thought that would come as well. Of course. Um, because you know, we always said there would be, there would have to be a, a space between the two. Um, and if base wasn't launching until later in the year, which is what we were discussing a couple of weeks ago, it, it didn't make sense for when they would be bringing you play plus out. So it now means that I expect to see that by maybe June at the very latest. Wow. And also just, uh, something else. I'd just like to point out MM2K's, um, tweet about an hour ago or so now, I think, uh, like the haters that we've had recently, that are, we've seen a lot of people call in for Harrison to be fired. <laughs> hold and my he, beer. Uh, yeah, he just replied to uh, Phil Harrison, hold my beer. It's like <laughs> such a perfect moment. That's, in such, that's such a good shout because I, that's Fantastic. why I, I didn't jump into that mindset because look, at the end of the day, the the man is the man and does he need to be more vi you know visible in the public? Sure, that's a criticism. We've all said this. But but at the end of the day, they have made some moves that should have made people go, wait a minute, let's <clears throat> let's hold and pump the brakes before we go overboard with stuff. And today's a, a big slap in the face to some of that. I mean, you can't sit there now and say, Phil, you need to leave. Like you can't. You no. can't at this point. That's a this wasn't just a Phil decision. Like that's something else too that folks need to understand. This came, this would have been in concert with a lot of conversations with higher ups um as far Studios. as them doing this studios being on board all of the people that are underneath of him needed to be on board that means jade that means jack that means john all of those people would have had to be in mm. some sort of an agreement with what the trajectory or the business plan was going to be going into the summer um yeah. so also, again chase we, we've yeah, seen yeah. we've sorry mate we've seen this afternoon well in the last few minutes We've seen all the big names, the Jades and, and, and some of the senior people, that all tweeting this out. We said the other day they'd all been 
They'd all been too clandestine. They'd all been too hidden. We hadn't seen any of the execs. Mark my words, we'll start to see them now everywhere because this is what they've been waiting for. Do you remember I said, you know, that we won't see the marketing until base launches because the whole model is, is around base. Now we'll see the marketing. We'll see the execs turn up and do the interviews. The whole thing will start to roll now. Guys, I have to go because I have a meeting uh, a no work worries. meeting, but I have uh, two questions for the panel. Actually, I have uh, one I, I want to address, and then I'll leave the question. Um, Mazov does mention here, sorry guys, but isn't the title a little bit misleading? Uh, it's not base launch. It's two months of pro trial. Base might come two months in time. I would say this. Uh, for me, the base, this is called base launch, but they just changed the strategy. Mm -hmm. Instead of launching base without a pro, pro subscription now you get base with a pro subscription of two months otherwise later after the two months you decide to keep it or not but all of the um, when they wrote about it they never said this is a limited time only thing they said starting now and whoever subscribes will get two months of stadia and uh, before i go the other one is from ronio he was saying here i don't know if you guys are already talking about this but do you think I stated out had in mind the thousands of people who lost their jobs. I want to hear your opinion on this. But um, the the point I have on this is the numbers of players simultaneously on Steam, on Xbox, on PlayStation have never been so high. So maybe they saw it as a good opportunity, but I want to hear your thoughts on this. And uh, I'll be listening, but I have to drop, guys. i see you later. See ya. Thanks for dropping Cheers, Eddie. It's a great question. There's lots of lots of questions in there. Um, oh. Well, look, I mean, Jade, Jade literally said, <laughs> Not said a word. Jade Jade Raymond literally tweeted, "Play Stadia Pro for free starting today." Now I know that doesn't mean, and it goes on forever, but you could cancel today, and you'd have base. Right. That's so, that's the key, and I, yeah. and I think that's that's what people have to read between the lines on this. What you what a lot of folks were looking for is that just base rolled out and that was it, cut and dry. Mm. This is base, folks. All they're doing is they're incentivizing. This is exactly the same rollout they did with YouTube TV. I literally, if you go back to 2017, I believe is when it launched. They gave yeah. everyone a month for free to try all of the resources and everything. This is Google's mo. This is what they do. They want to give you a taste to get you to bite. Um, and then when you do, you're hooked, you stay on. So what they're doing is they're saying, guess what? For two months, you get to try everything, all of our bells and whistles, everything that we offer. And at the end of that, if you don't want to stay with that, all the games you actually purchase with your money, you keep. So you are getting base. You, this is no, no one's being forced into, to, to keeping pro. No. Um, and in fact, I think this is a better strategy than what it, mm -hmm. it would have been of just launching base without some type of incentivization. Yeah. This is the way you do that without games. Like this is again, you got it. You got a, a hundred thousand feet view right now. What do we know is going on? The games aren't there, right? So how do you swing it to someone to get them to bite? You give them a bunch of <laughs> allocated resources for free, and by doing that, you make the person subjectively in their head go. Well, man, two months, I could play all of these games for free without paying anything. Why wouldn't I do that? Even, the, even if it's games that aren't the games that they want to play, like Grid and other and other stuff. Sorry, Duncan, go ahead, my friend. No, I was going to say, uh, I don't think they're going to do some sneaky wee things, like maybe chuck into Crew 2 or Ghost Recon in one of these two months uh, just to show off uh, Stream Connect. And this is how some of the features... Uh, Maybe get packed. Maybe they just chuck it in as a pro game. Mm. Don't don't be surprised if you see division become a pro deal or a pro game. Um, mm -hmm. And I and, and I think out of all the games that we could potentially see that would be with Stream Connect, I think that one is probably right at front and center. I think that game is very much possibly going to be one of next month's pro games because they want folks to get that taste of these are the only features these are only features that you can do on Stadia and they'd be mm. crazy not to do that. And don't forget when they data mined the recent um, Android Stadia app uh, update, it literally said it, it implied there would be one month's 
free pro subscription if you signed up anyway. So I think this is, as you've said, this is the big launch. We'll give you two months. We'll credit everybody else. From then on in, it's going to be a one-month free pro deal, which leads to base. And that's your price of entry. You've got to give us your card details or sign up with, with Play, PayPal or what have you, but then you're in. I just noticed, by the way, it's worth commenting on um, Jade Raymond's tweet. She said that it starts in North America now, but gets rolled out over the next 48 hours in other territories. Wow. Smart. Very yeah. smart. So you don't inundate the servers all at one time. Yeah. I didn't catch that. Yeah. yeah. So she's because a couple of people saying here, I've just been to sign up and it's not there. She said, no, it's only going to start in the States. But over the next two days, it'll roll out across. So by Easter weekend, it's going to be <laughs> right the way across. <laughs> I think that's just one of the other questions that someone asked earlier as well. So, okay. yeah, yeah. And, that's one and, hell of an Easter egg. <laughs> and this is what I think we were talking as well. This is why the pro games weren't disappearing. Uh, they were just keeping there so you can go bang, yes. bang, bang. Yes, they were trying to keep us keeping as long or as possible. Green screen kind of breaks that one down. <laughs> but it's an Easter egg. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, Dan? I don't think I've ever seen you where you ever got some chocolate to hand. <laughs> it's going to say what, what ends up happening is he breaks open the egg there, and then you see base. Yeah, oh, look. <laughs> The candy man can. The candy man can. <laughs> the candy man Dan. Candy man Dan. Look at this. He's... <laughs> wow, your dentist must be the richest dentist in your area. <laughs> no, my, my dad dropped some things off earlier for Easter, so. Oh, nice. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. I, I yeah, I'm still I, I still am in a state of shock over all this, but mm. again, not surprised. It's 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 crazy that it's here. Um, and again, there's a lot to there's going to be a lot to dissect in the next week. And I think the big one, the the, the number one question for me, and I'm going to trust Google here, but the number one question for me is, did they get the blades ramped up enough for this type of launch? Mm. And the only answer that I can come to with a with a rational conclusion is. It has to be yes, because you don't make this type, again, I'll say it again, you don't make this type of a ballsy move at this moment unless you are 100% sure you can meet the demand. They've had to look at some type of analytics to, to see what potentially might be the influx, what they think is going to actually happen in these different data centers in these regions. Um, and, and the only reason I'm bringing this up and it's a concern is because everyone's going to be operating off of Pro. So if that's the case, you can't differentiate right now who is – prioritize if, if, if they're going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you, there, there, there's not that type of piece and we don't want that anyway. So I don't know at the end of the day, what the, what the, the big answer is, but my, my faith is that they've done the proper research. They've looked at the analytics and they have found that they can meet the demand across all of these data centers. Um, and that Las Vegas one that's going to be coming very soon is a big piece of this puzzle because they're going to need more of these things as they continue to ramp up. And that's going to be from all accounts. I went and read another article recently on that. That's going to be one of the largest data centers in all of North America. Wow. Um, so that's a massive investment from them to be doing mm. some of this stuff. And of course, that we know now, or we've got a fairly good idea, that they're launching months ahead of, of Amazon. Let's call it Amazon Gaming Prime. So we know they're bringing out um, uh, Crucible and New World over the next eight weeks. Uh, but they've said that they're not going to they're not going to be rolling out tempo for some time after that, um, and they're still in in test phase anyway. So you know, once again, Google have stolen a march on maybe six months prior to tempo launching, um, and that's massively important. I think if they'd have held back any longer, they'd have been in some real trouble some real trouble so now i think now would have is the optimum time and i love and you said this earlier chase they've gone through and ticked all the boxes even down to the you know we're concerned about the uh current issues so we're, we're making the default 1080p they've thought through the whole raft there's very little you come back and criticize them on for this yeah was it maybe it's not wording perhaps sorry i think maybe some of the wording that they've um, put out because I think there's some people that seem to think that like um, oh the ambiguity you mean yeah I mean yeah, I don't totally know whether clear. this yeah, is yeah. one of the 
the questions. I don't know whether I'm getting the right end of the stick here, but this is promotion in the span of 48 hours. Uh, no, it's going to be rolled out over the next 48 hours. But yeah. this is, as far, as far as I'm aware anyway, you'll be able to sign up from now on. Yeah, all, all they're doing, all they're doing, ladies and gentlemen, is they're being very smart about not overloading the servers. They're they're basically think of it almost like a power grid. If you've watched Jurassic Park, you remember they had to turn the whole park back on, and it was systematic, little by little, with the Velociraptor and everything. Okay, I'm being too much. Anyways, so they were flicking the <laughs> Tommy's laughing over there. They're, they were turning the grid on little by little. Same thing's happening here. You have to make sure that you don't overload allocated resources. Um, and right now they're trying to make sure that they do it in a very systematic approach. North America, they already have enough data here that they probably are confident enough that that's why they're launching here first. They know exactly what's happening and all of the infrastructure here. They know where the, the, the uh, fail safes are. They know where there's potential um, failures or failure rates happening. So they, they know where they need to, to work there. Over 48 hours, that gives them two days in North or in uh, Europe in particular, that if anything is to happen where they don't have as many boots on the ground, they can respond in kind um, effectively because, you know, Phil in this blog post really said a, a really important statement too. And I, I'm glad that he said it. Their support teams are strapped right now. They are very limited. I mean, it's, it's like a, like a graveyard crew. They don't have a lot of people that's on board. They got to be very careful about stretching some of these folks too thin and that is why you make this type of a strategy because, again, you don't want to overwork some of these folks that are going to need to go in and look at things and look at different uh, failure rates and everything else. I know I'm talking on and on, but th that's hopefully that point makes sense. Ubisoft have tweeted um, half an hour ago, now's your chance to try out Stadia and jump into Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Just Dance 2020, The Crew 2, and more. Um, and then they're dangling, they're dangling them fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, wait, let me, oh, wait, wait, which way is it? Oh, down here. Tommy, Tommy is, he's like a kid at Christmas. He's like, yes, yes. <laughs> he's, he's over here pouring more drinks, man. Little by little. <laughs> that, that was more at the point that uh, Rock mentioned, uh, just dance. And there is a current Stadia source campaign to get me to stream that game. <laughs> do it, do it. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. Got to cut some moves, bro. The the funny thing is the the negative tweets, um, the sorry, the, the responses to Ubisoft, they they just make you cry. But hey ho, look who's laughing now. Well, these are the same people that are going to send that tweet, but they're going to sign up for this thing the next <laughs> moment. And that's why I don't buy into this stuff on social media, and nobody else should either, because all it is is it's 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 people trying to force preferences. When in the end of the day, they're probably going to be someone that in the in the confines of their own home they're playing this thing just like everybody else especially with it being free like it, you know i i just don't see you know everyone here's the whole thing with xcloud and again i don't want to i'm not trying to put xcloud down but i'm just trying to point out something because it's very interesting the mentality about that service versus this one mm -hmm. that service is free okay which basically this is also for two months minus you entering in your credit card and all I hear from folks about that is it's free. They got all the games. It's free. Not about it runs well. Not that, A, it's a great platform. Oh, no, none of that. It's it's free. I can play all these games. Well, guess what? If that's the mentality, you now have the same exact thing over here. You've got the exact same process that's happening with Stadia. So my response to that is, what makes Stadia different? And again, someone that's going to be honest about the conversation, they're not going to be able to answer that because they're going to look like a fool, again, respectfully, they're going to look like a fool by saying what they said about xCloud, but then when it comes to Stadia, then changing their tune. You can't have it both ways. Mm. You can't dip your toe in the water and then say, oh, I don't like the water anymore. It doesn't work that way. So that, that comes back to that whole conversation I've made before about keep everything to an equal playing ground and an equal, equal field. Um, and I, I think this is going to change the conversation. I don't think it's going to take away everything like the, the digital foundry foolishness, the business insider foolishness mm -hmm. that is still put a very bad stain on stadium that they're going to have to overcome. But in the grand scheme of things, um, this is a, this is a step in the right direction. Do you think though, in terms of like the digital foundry stuff that I think I mentioned this earlier, but in a different context that if, if digital foundry put something out like that and then, with there being more Stadia users now, there's going to be more people saying, well, hang on a minute. That's not been my experience. So mm -hmm. they've got a wider audience to answer to when they put out trash mm -hmm. like that. 
that's the whole problem here. That's why Digital Foundry opened up a huge hornet's nest by doing what they did there. Because now, and I'm sure they're sitting there thinking to themselves, and, and again, I'm, I'm just telling you what the reality is with some of these places. They are probably sitting there right now going, oh, crap. Now all these people are going to play this thing. And what's going to happen when they read that article and they see that that's not been the experience? What are they going to think about us? And that is a Digital Foundry, truthfully. You should be asking yourself that question. Because going forward, how does anyone trust you considering that? And, I, and I'm sorry I'm saying that here, but I'm being very genuine. That is that is a concern they should have in response to your question, Dan, because it, you're absolutely yeah. right. The devil's advocate on that is obviously we've seen now quite a lot of content that's come out in response to the whole Digital Foundry thing on both sides. And it will be interesting to see how the people that now come to base as a new platform and get to try it for the first time, whether or not they kind of take back some of the things that they've said about that. Cause obviously a lot of people have jumped on the bandwagon instantly. Oh yeah, it doesn't work. It's the worst version of every game to play on, but Duncan needs well, to say something. I need to say something breaking news. There looks like there's a limit of the accounts and uh, nine to five uh, Google article here is saying it looks like there is a limited number of these. I was uh, waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Unfortunately, we have found that Google is prepared to put a limit on the number of the people who can register for the accounts and the limit will be based on your area. So we're not sure if that means you're... That's just a 48-hour thing. That's what that is. That's uh, all that is. That's just them. They're basically just saying, as we know, that it's going to be rolled out over 48 hours. So you can't do it today in... Uzbekistan, but you can in America? No, I think they're talking about uh, they're going back to their API thing and I think they're seeing uh, they think it's going to uh, say that you can't sign up because you've had too much, there's too many people in that oh, area. Okay. It does say that, you're right. Yeah, but so will that uh, only be for 48 hours though? No, uh, yeah. that's you know, that's going to be like there's too many people trying to play Stadia in this, in this area. We can't allow any more people to go under the See, that 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 makes more sense because again, and I not to to contradict what Rock is saying, but that goes back to why I was asking that question of you got to be real ballsy if you're just going to open this thing up wide open to let people on it if you don't have enough server blades. And I I think potentially here they are going to do what we saw in that APK originally, which was they're going to limit how many people can sign up. Then you'll be on a rotating waiting list, and then as they add more blades, then they'll open it up little by little. Or even just like a funnel in system. To be fair, I mean, it does say there might be, and they are. You're yeah. right, Duncan. They're basing it on the yeah. data mining. Yeah. Um, so until we absolutely hear people say, "Oh, it says I can't join," um, okay. yeah. I think you know we kind of have to just take that one with a little bit of um, salt. Yeah. I mean, there absolutely will be a cap on how many people can sign up to base. Yeah. In set period, or at least of time. play. Yeah. Well, yeah, sign up should be unlimited, but yeah, mm. the amount of people that get in, it would be unreasonable to expect that if out of the 7 billion people that they marketed <laughs> to all decided to sign up in the next 48 hours, yeah, of course. that nobody would be playing Stadia, it would be broken. That's not going to happen, no. but they have to be sensible. Like you say, you can't, you can't cause issues for the player base that already exist by opening it up to everyone. You have to roll that out in chunks and it just creates more demand. If people are trying to sign up and they're seeing that there's a limit that's been hit, that makes them want it even more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chase, do you, you know a lot more about the technology than I do. Do they, mm -hmm. do, we know within a server, there are multiple game instances across the blades within a server, within, within a box. Um, do you know if they've ever done anything in terms of multi-threading wherein if you pause within a game, it uses mm -hmm. some of the compute cycle and the processing power to fire up another instance, for example, so that you can you can take a, a box full of potentially 50 game instances and triple that by virtue of using the pause space between each game? So what you're what you're defining is in regards to the rack itself, where they've got let's say it's eight, nine, ten blades, right? Yeah, yeah. So you you can segment instances, um, and this is something that um, Microsoft was talking about with Azure is what they wanted to do was actually take 
one blade and basically break it into to, um, four Xboxes within the blade. And then they mm -hmm. could basically break it down into mini sessions. Mm -hmm. I think Stadia can do that if they wanted to. They could allocate resources um, within a blade. Yeah. It's, it's definitely possible. It's not impossible. My, my only, I don't want to say my only hesitation, but my only response to that is then that comes down to what's the long-term game plan. Because if, if, and I'm just, again, I'm speaking hypothetical. Mm -hmm. This is all theory, not, not practical, but if for some reason someone is wanting to create that game that has to use the full power of that blade, now you're running into a dangerous place because if you're, if you're relying on that blade to be segmented where it can use multiple users can access just the one blade, hmm. Um, you are now running into a problem there. Um, mm -hmm. So th this is, again, this is why I went went to that original question of what was the game plan here? Is it because they've mm -hmm. got enough blades and they're confident mm -hmm. or is it that they're limiting? And that's what, what Duncan brought up is exactly what was on my mind because that APK specifically broke down that once they hit yeah. that, that number of users mm -hmm. in a region, then they were going to cut it to a, a wait list. And they're limiting this still to the 14 original countries. So for now, we're still we're not seeing an expansion into any of the territories. So they've done a significant amount of load balance testing over the last eight, mm -hmm. nine, or whatever long it's been now. Um, so they've got a fairly good idea of what that could look like spinning it out. Um, I suspect my personal belief and feeling is, is that you're not going to see them hit those numbers just yet. But it certainly could be the case the more promotion they do and the, the wider they open the net. I think for now, we're probably going to be fairly safe. Uh, that's why uh, I feel uh, Get Pack's going to be coming really soon. Mm. You get the, just going back to, uh, this is something I've been banging the drum about, them YouTube streamers, YouTube have signed up. Guess what they're going to be playing? I, I'm making a prediction now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, they're going to be playing Get Packed uh, next week, or, there, or there's another prediction that's coming next week. But uh, they're going to start playing the, the Stadia games with the yeah. crowd play, and that's just going to go boom. And that is why they have went for the YouTube it's streamers. It's perfect for that. It's perfect for that. It's absolutely right, Duncan. I'm, I'm, I'm on the money with you on that one. Oh. Uh, just, just going back about the Amazon stuff, we're missing now. I forgot to mention this. Uh, you, Rocky, you were, you were talking about uh, Amazon. Mm -hmm. uh, they're bringing out their first one in the summer, and it's integrated straight into Twitch. And it's going to be smaller games, so it's going to be like cry play games, or I think no bigger than like get packed sort of thing. So they're they're working on that as well. This is their the the tempo versus their own games. Uh, basically, it's like going to be like the cry play. Well, okay. it's going to work on YouTube via or Twitch. You, Fire Twitch, and they're yeah. going to be doing smaller games in there, and then they're going to yeah. roll right from there. Yeah, that makes sense. I think, yeah, I mean, that's a definite. I, you know, we, we, I, I absolutely believe that their their model is going to be based on their largely their own their own um, <clears throat> exclusives, but working in exactly the same way that Prime Video works. In you know, here's a bunch of our own stuff, Outlander, and so on. But then, if you want to, you can also pay and watch this. So, you know, that's essentially you'll have, this is all our own games, and, and these are games that we've subsidized through third parties, and you can play those under your $80, $100 a year. But if you want to play Call of Duty or Fortnite, you can do that, but you've got to buy the game. So, you know, I know we're not Fortnite, but you know what I'm saying. So I think that's their model. Yeah, that's why I've been banging on as well. I, I always say banging on, but uh, your Prime games you've been getting each month, I would not be surprised if they are part of uh, Project Tempo going forward. So you've already been yeah. building your library up. Yeah, absolutely right. Absolutely right. That's how it will launch. Wowza. Well, I need to get on with Stadia Rocks. I've got to go and rewrite the darn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be fun for you. <laughs> uh, it's all right. It'll be a new, one new piece of news, and then I've just got to rewrite what, what's up, Rock. And mm -hmm. then we've got um, we've got somebody somebody um, in uh, Stars of Stadia that uh, just takes your crown for a week away from you, Dan, but you, you're always a star. <laughs> 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 Guys, thank you ever so much for inviting me in and uh, on this auspicious occasion. Are you, uh, you'll be carrying on for a while. Um, I'm not sure. See, just see how. 
Yeah, Princess. we're just playing it by ear at the moment. <laughs> Dan's got a ton of chocolate. He's going for days. <laughs> I need to actually write the article to say that Stadium Base is launched on the website. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm trying to do. Cobbler's shoes. You don't need to do it now. Just post the thumbnail to this and the link yeah. is done. Yeah. Fair point. <laughs> guys, thank you ever so much. Done it, so. Have a great evening. Same and, yourself. Uh, speak soon. Have a great day. Cheers, guys. Bye -bye. See you later. Good. I'm also going to... Um, Fox Rock Oscar guys as well. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's time to time to eat really. If I'm honest, just just My food's in the oven as we speak. Yeah, <laughs> but oh. yeah, I mean, this is this is uh, an awesome day, isn't it? Nobody could have seen this coming, other than the people that obviously already knew. But uh, it's just going to be interesting to see over the next. Well, by the time we hit the weekend, what the state of all the games that we've been playing and saying that the only kind of issue that we have with Stadia is player base. So when you're trying to match make for something that isn't the Division 2 uh, or isn't Destiny 2 for that matter, the biggest problem that we've had is there aren't enough players to match with. So you can wait for a really long time to play a multiplayer game. I would imagine by the time we get to Saturday this week, that that's not really going to be that much of an issue. There's going to be a massive influx of players. The, the test, I guess, will be how many are still there in a month when or two months. Once the pro sub is up, how many people are going to continue to use it? It'll be an interesting, uh, interesting couple of months. That That's a really good question. Uh, I think that's probably part of that forward thinking of what are we going to see going forward? I think in the now, that that's not even something that's going to come up in the moment, I guess is the right way to say it. Um, and, and I think the only saving grace on this again comes down to they're not locked into pro, which I mean, we knew anyways. So if they buy a game with the pro deal, they still have the ability to come back and play it. Yeah. Um, and I think, I think again, I think one thing they should do with the division is they should do two options. You can either claim it as part of pro or you can buy it for the 10 bucks and give people the option because if they want to buy it for the 10 bucks and they go off of pro, they've got it. They don't have to worry about going back in and, and worrying about their data being lost or anything like that. They have that option. Yeah. Uh, I think there is a seal now. I think we can all predict there is a seal now and then a, a big proper, maybe their first big proper seal with nearly every single title on offer. I was just about to just say, to I wouldn't be surprised to actually see every single game on a pro discount of some magnitude i'm not talking about some of the deals that we have seen where they're like 60 70 percent discounts but really there's not a reason they couldn't put a minimum of a five percent discount across every title it's yeah. not it's not going to do them any harm at all i mean I, I i find it crazy that i woke up this morning to see people complaining about the pro sales on red dead redemption 2 like it if you don't want to buy the game, just don't buy it. The fact that people are, you're being offered it cheaper and you're scoffing at the fact that it's cheaper than retail price. What? Why? If you really want to play that game and somebody offers it to you with like a 20% discount, buy the game. It's a massive, massive game. It's not like it's an indie title. It's, it's crazy. But yeah, I, I agree. I do think we are going to see a mass pro sale. Which um, is an issue. <laughs> anybody, anybody got predictions of the sign-ins for this? I think you're going to get a lot if they do the marketing right here now, because you're going to get the division two with the absolutely everything and the season pass. I think that's going to be a thing to watch. And the grid is also a good game which you can push. And then they've got the selection which you can sort of tempt people with. I'll go think? for I'll go for a million, and the only reason that I'm going less than GFN is purely down to the current catalogue. The fact that GFN has an almost infinitely bigger catalogue than we have currently, I doubt we're gonna we're gonna surpass that, and within sort of a, a short space of time. But I do also think that we are gonna pull an awful lot of people for a much higher retention rate than what GeForce Now has been able to achieve. Uh, it's, it, things have definitely picked up. <laughs> it's one way of saying it. But 
just a wee question for Molly. Can we get an article when Pro is available in the UK? It's going to be over the next uh, two two days. So we're we'll try and up. put something out. Oh, um, um, thank you for having the RSS uh, notification set on for the site. That's really good. So you can hear our randomness. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think we're getting close to a natural sort of end of this. What do you think here? I think we're... <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, there's only one yeah. thing left to do. Oh, God. oh he's going to dance. He's going to dance. <laughs> Because I've already said the other thing. I've said it multiple times, and other people have said it. Yeah, I, I missed what that was. I'm guessing somebody mentioned something. Because, um, okay, I've just seen all the tags, and then I had no idea what was going on. Yeah, uh, someone else mentioned, uh, don't subscribe to Stadia Arcadia. It is becoming the motto of the Stadia community. Well, here's what I'm going to do, because you all deserve the proper shine if he's going to dance, and I should not be present for that. Um, I will watch. I will watch. But uh, I, I want to bid you all adieu, and thank you for having me on, and especially considering the monumentous, the monumental, goodness gracious, words are hard, the monumental day that today is. Um, I'm glad you guys did a live stream. This is awesome because it, it deserved that type of attention. And by the way, if you haven't subscribed to Stadia Source on YouTube, you should do it. And if you're not <laughs> following their articles, my goodness, what are you doing? They are the best Stadia website out on the internet, hands down, not even close. So with that, you all have an awesome day. Uh, Dan, be good. Duncan, be good. Tommy, it was great to see you, my friend. Be, me be good. When, that, when is that going to happen? Uh, <laughs> fair point. Bye, everybody. Oh, geez. <laughs> I'm gonna head off too before Dan ruins it for everyone. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll both leave, and then Dan can be disco Dan and for everybody. So ev thank you all for coming to watch this, and don't subscribe to Stadia Arcadia. It's the golden rule. <laughs> and see you on base. Hey, bye, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Bye-bye.